My name is Dashka Kolkam. It's spelled D-A-C-H-E-K-A-K-O-L-C-U-M. <laughs> so I'm studying sports management. Um, I eventually want to start a nonprofit in Haiti, kind of bring organized sports to third world countries, starting with Haiti. So sports management is going to definitely come in handy. <laughs> I'm originally born in Haiti. I was born in a city called Grand Grove. I lived with my family for two years, and then I lived in the orphanage until I was almost six years old. I was adopted by a really nice, amazing family here. They actually had to come to Haiti twice before I could come to America with them. So I have a bunch of memories with them down in Haiti, a bunch of memories in Haiti in general. It was definitely a very difficult moment uh, and time for me to hear about another earthquake in Haiti. I feel that Haiti can never get a break sometimes, but I know the people are really resilient people. The people are strong and we're really good at coming together in time of need. As soon as the destruction happened, I contacted my family, made sure they were okay, and they were already out helping other people. We're gonna grow, we're gonna get better from here. The first time there was a devastation in Haiti, um, I was young and there wasn't much I could do except for feel the feelings of it. But now I'm older, I have Mason as a platform, I have the soccer team, and I knew this was my call to action. And I knew that there was something I could do about it this time. The way we went about choosing the GoFundMe is um, we actually were bouncing off ideas of what we could do. And during one of our meetings, we were just bouncing off ideas and this made the most sense. In my GoFundMe story, I broke down kind of the numbers of $5, $10, what that could do. And I think opening people's eyes to the difference in the life in a third world country and what $10 could do to save someone's life. And I think that we're just not aware of it. We're not cognizant of that. So I think just helping as many people in Haiti as I can and open as many eyes in America that I can is the end goal. And we've raised uh, just shy of $5,000, which I'm super excited about. We didn't know how much we were gonna raise. I started the uh, GoFundMe at $1,000 and we actually broke that in one night. So. I've been very excited. There's been an overwhelming amount of support from Mason in general. Being in the position we are in America, um, we do have a lot of things that we take for granted. We also have a lot that we can give. With the help of Mason and my coaches and my soccer team, I knew we could raise a good amount of donations to help out. Haiti is my roots. Haiti is family. Haiti is what I wake up every day to work towards. I was adopted for a reason, and I really believe that. And I think that I've been put on this earth to give back to my home country. Haiti's my motivator. I think that's the best way I could put it.